take two. I've just gone through all this once and then realised I forgot to press the record button. So, as I was saying before, I hope you've enjoyed this morning's sermon, the two songs, and I hope it's given you something to wonder about and to think about what it might be if we, the people of God, get hold of this abundant life, this fulfilled life, and live it out in the midst of the community where we are. I'm going to say a prayer, invite you to join with me in saying the Lord's Prayer, and then close. So let's pray. Lord of life, bring hope and abundant life to your people, your creation. May we always walk with you. May we always celebrate with you. May we join with you in the sheer wonder of life. Help us to appreciate that there is a time for joy and a time for heartache, that in all that befalls us, you are there in our relation and in the depths of sorrow, as you were there at Easter, but were there on Good Friday and are there with us every day of our lives. Amen. Let's say the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. And may the blessing of God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit be with you now and remain with you always. Amen. Take care of yourself. If you find you're in any need or you know anyone who is in any need, please don't hesitate to get in touch with myself or Charles. And I'm sure the messages will ultimately get back to me. And we will do whatever we can to offer help. Keep yourself safe and let's keep trusting in God. Amen. Goodbye.